The Baltimore Colts tuned up for the playoffs by facing their old Super Bowl foes, the New York Jets. Number 18, Al Woodall, got the Jets on the board first with this bullet to rookie Richard Castor. Earl Morrill found number 33, Eddie Hinton, wide open for the equalizer. But number 81, Jerry Philbin, dislocated this moral aerial, and linebacker Larry Grantham put the Jets in the lead late in the first half. But Morrill brought the poised Colts right back before the end of the half, hitting number 87, Roy Jefferson, for a long game. Working on the left side of the Jets' secondary, he speared Roy Jefferson three times. Then he again sprung Hinton on the opposite side to complete the drive. In the third period, the old pro, Earl Morrill, continued his mischief in the Jets' secondary. Number 84, Tom Mitchell, made this good grab. Old pro Jimmy Orr did his thing once more for the Baltimore Colts and gracefully faded into the evening shadows of a great career, giving way to maturing stars like number 27, Ray Perkins. The Colts' last score came when number 83, Ted Hendricks, blocked this punt and recovered for six more points. The Baltimore Colts are more than a team. They are a tradition as the Jets keep learning. This time, 35 to 20, Baltimore.